Hello everybody, welcome to my Sky Diary for September 2020. What a year it's been so far. Of course, I've been meaning to get my Sky Diary online for a long while. Um, just seem to run out of time all the time. But uh, here it is finally, and uh, it should be a monthly thing from now on. Of course, you don't have to sit and wait for my Sky Diary to come out every month. But if you go to my webpage, star-gazing.co.uk forward slash diary and go to my team up version, you'll even be able to download the app and put it on your phone and carry it around with you. So you won't have to go to my webpage every single time. OK, so what's happening in September? Let's have a look, shall we? So we start the month really with the full moon. So the moon's going to be quite bright. It's going to be full on the second. Uh, this is the view about 10.30 in the evening. And that's looking south, so you see the moon over here, over towards the south east. Of course, you've got Jupiter and Saturn down here. Here's Jupiter and here's Saturn. They're going to be around for a little while yet. And of course, in December, we've got a nice treat waiting for us. But I'll talk about that in a couple of months. OK, on the 5th of September, the moon's going to be fairly close to Mars. In actual fact, on this Stellarium view, I've actually made the moon look a little bit bigger than it should be. Uh, so this is the view towards the east at about 10.30 at night, universal time, don't forget. Um, so you can see Mars and the moon close by. And of course, if you look towards the northeast, you're going to see the Pleiades coming up. So we know winter is really coming it's on its way when you see the Pleiades coming up you really know that's uh, creeping in now and of course the Hyades are just poking their heads above the horizon as well so. and then on 6th of September the moon's even closer to Mars again it's a bit of an exaggerated view here so there's Mars of course the Pleiades at this time about 3 30 in the morning Mars are going to be really high so get your telescopes out have a look at Mars because it's getting bigger as it approaches opposition so make the most of Mars over the next few months and then of course the Hyades and you really know when you get up at 3 30 in the morning and you see Orion clear of the horizon you know winter's definitely on its way so folks who love the summer but that's the way it goes and here's the proper view, shows the moon the correct size. So here's the moon, and this is actually how far away Mars is from the moon on that particular night. On the 9th of September, this is just after midnight, you'll see the uh, almost third quarter moon uh, close to the Pleiades and the Hyades. So uh, that should be a nice view um, at that time. In the morning so get out and have a look because that should be a nice photographic opportunity and of course Ariga, 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 however you pronounce it is here as well which is Capella and the three stars here and make up a triangle called the kids and it's a kite shaped constellation and of course if you remember comic Neo Wise was about here a couple of months ago so uh, yeah so that's rising up in the northeast now and then the last quarter moon is on the 10th of September. Again, this is about 12.30 in the evening, universal time, and the Hyades and the Pleiades, and the first quarter moon. And of course, Gemini, Castor, and Pollux are rising over in the northeast. And Neptune's opposition on the 11th of September, so this is midnight when uh, all the planets or all the superior planets are at opposition at their best. And here's the view. Where's Neptune? Well, it's difficult to find, but there it is right there. It's in Aquarius or in between Aquarius and Pisces. And it's magnitude plus 7.8. So it is going to be quite difficult to see. You do need binoculars to find it. It's not, definitely not naked eye, uh, but it is there. And it's very, very small. So you need a good magnification to be able to see some sort of disk on the planet. But you might be just be able to see its largest moon, Triton, with a good uh, telescope. So there's Aquarius. And of course, Mars is over here in Pisces as well. On the 13th of September, four o'clock in the morning, looking east, there's Castor and Pollux. We mentioned those, they were rising 
earlier we've got the lovely crescent moon here which should show some really nice earth shine and you've got venus here as well and that's just below the uh, star cluster in cancer called Chrysippe. so that should be a nice sight so that should give us some good photographic opportunities to be able to see that close to the star cluster and here's a view a little bit closer up showing venus and here's Chrysippe, the star cluster in cancer And then on the 14th, the moon joins in the fun. So here's the moon, a little bit exaggerated in size, but there's the cluster, there's Venus, and there's the moon as well. And then on 16th of September, you might just be able to see a very, very thin crescent moon. So that'll be a real challenge to find at about quarter to five universal time in the morning, looking towards the east. So see if you can find that. And of course, Venus is moving away from the uh, beehive star cluster by then it's moving in this direction so we're going to start losing venus very soon and of course the moon is not that far from regulus in leo and new moon is actually on the 17th of september so that's when we'll have no moon so middle of the month is going to be best for any of your deep sky work when the moon's well out of the sky Okay, the first quarter moon is on the 24th of September when it's in Sagittarius. It's quite low down. It forms a very nice line with Jupiter and Saturn down in the south. And then on the 25th, the moon is a little bit closer to Saturn. And that's it for the month. So uh, get out and enjoy the skies. They're now getting a lot darker. And of course, if you've enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you want to carry the sky die around with you, go to my website, star-gazing.co.uk forward slash diary and get yourself out there and have a look. Bye.